Hi, hey, Francie. So we're talking about bar chords there, and um, just how to know uh, how far you know of the fretboard you need to bring the shape and how to do that. So uh, we'll start off with A minor, right? So the shape of A minor and bringing that up the fretboard. So let's say you want B minor, okay? So that doesn't really have a shape of its own. So if we're starting off here, there's the A minor, and then so. Normally you'd play it like that or maybe like that. So this time we're gonna play it third finger and fourth finger. Then up one would be A sharp minor. And then up another one would be B minor. So if you were to take it up another one then because there's no B sharp, then next one up would be C minor. Then C sharp minor, then D minor is up here. So we'll get to, so regularly you would play D minor like this. So. Could also do it like this because that's A minor, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D minor. So let's say you wanted E minor. Now you wouldn't technically you could go up another two from D, D, D sharp, E minor. Now it, you're probably not going to want to go up that far of the fretboard, so you get just a different minor shape. So in this case, D minor shape. And then you only need to bring that up one for D sharp minor and then E minor. And then so naturally there's no E sharp, so F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, etc. So then on the major, major end of things, it's no difference. So if we take A major and we wanted chord of B major, then that would be A major. So again, we're just taking A major, regular shape, switching it around so that the index finger is free. A major, A sharp, B major, C major. And you can see see the way this C major and this C major sound not exactly the same, but it is obviously the same chord. Different texture is all. Now, uh, another, another one you can bring up is the D major shape, this one where they're all behind the second fret. Now, this one's a bit weird. What you can do here is get your third finger across them, right? So you would have, and then just block the last one like that. So, so then what you can do is there's D, D sharp, E. So again, third finger is lying across those three strings, the, the uh, fourth, third, and second strings, two frets up from the bass note, which is there. So that'd be E major there. Uh, F major. So there's F major. And there's F major. So slightly different texture, but same chord. So just um, um, tr try a couple of different uh, combinations. So let's, you know, for example, you could try uh, D major, um, A major, and then. Uh, B, mi uh, B minor, so D major, A minor, or A major I should say, and then B minor. Or you could go for um, G major, E minor, which would be D minor up to B minor. So that's G, E minor, Any combination at all, and it's really just a case of getting that squeeze on as well. But you know, with the Gidalele strings, they're not they're not too hard. So um, so yeah, just just get used to moving them around. And whenever you bring a chord up like this, just make sure you readjust it as well, because the shape can kind of sag and fall apart as you go up. So just make sure everything is right up to the fret, close to the fret as you as you can get it, kind of coming up and over, not down flat like that. You want them to stand and right up. And then every now and then just try them one string at a time. Make sure you're getting them all out. Alright, see you again out with that. I'll talk to you next week.